In this video, we are going to create functionality to validate the email. So over here, to be dollar forms underscore errors is equal to array underscore merge. And over here we semicolon. And over here we have dollar form underscore errors. And comma this one be check underscore email. And over here be dollar underscore post. Super global variable dollar underscore post contain the data. So let's go and create. So go to your functions. Over here we function check underscore email and this one dollar data so this is what we have the first thing that we need to do copy this one and paste it here so this one while you contain all our errors away And this one with dollar key. The key will be email. Then over I will check if array underscore key underscore exists. So dollar key and command dollar data. So we are checking to see whether this key over this email or why it's inside this data. If it exists, then continue from here. Then over here will be if dollar underscore post dollar key. So if the key is not empty, meaning it's not empty, then continue from here. Meaning the email that the user entered, that is the email field, which is this one. If it's not empty, then over here would be dollar t is equal to filter underscore var. And this one with dollar t, then comma, this one with filter underscore sunny. Taiza underscore email. And this one is semicolon. So this filter underscore sanitize underscore email will sanitize the email for us. Then over here, so we check if filter underscore var. Dollar underscore post. That's the key. Then comma. Filter. Underscore validate. Validate. Underscore email. So the filter underscore validate underscore email will check and see whether email that the user entered is a valid email and over here what so this one dollar form underscore form underscore errors and this one with dollar key no concatenate it with a string which is is not a valid Email address and this one is semicolon. So now we have this one. So now we need to return it. So where are we going to return it? We return it here. So this one will be return forms underscore errors. 
So this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to check and see whether the key is inside this data. And we are trying to check and see whether the form as the email field is not empty. So if it's not empty, then over here we are filtering it like we are sending through the data. That's the data that the user sent, that's the email. And over here we are checking to see whether this one is a valid email. So in order for us to do that, over here, triple equal to false. So meaning that if the email that the user entered is not a valid email, do what is here. So now let's go and check and see whether our logic is working fine. So if I enter in something, at example, example.com then click on register okay we are not getting anything over here okay meaning that it's a valid email but let's see something over here let's make it dot and click on it again. So as you can see over here, email is not a valid email address, which is true, right? So if, so let's enter in something over here. Okay, so enter in something here, enter in something. But immediately it's a valid email. Realize that the error over here has disappeared. So the next thing that I want us to do is that, I want the username to be unique and also email to be unique. Why? Because why uh, we are allowing the user to enter the email or the username. So if the email is not unique, there will be username collision or email collision. So in order to prevent that, we need to make the email and the username unique. So we'll do it in the next video. But before we end this session, over here will be if empty but our form and as for errors and do it here and to do validate or check whether email or username is this so in the next video we are going to create our database to see you in the next video